Just doing an update. It's a terrible update, actually. Uh, I've got some right in my eyes as well. Um, I went away at the weekend to Markham. Um, my fiance went very hungry, and I didn't want to get rid of the um, breakfast. You know, I paid for the breakfast, so I ended up like having two breakfasts for two days. You know, very silly of me, really. I had two uh, meals on one of the days, and I and then I went yeah I went crazy and had ice cream and stuff like that, and um, had loads of cake as well. I just seemed to, I I also forgot to take this with me, which I couldn't believe it to be honest with you. I had two jobs to remember to take this, remember to take a toothbrush, and I took the toothbrush, but I forgot this. I don't know how I, I ended up doing that, but I did. And I let my willpower go on me. I think because they had too much um, breakfast, too many meals. So there's our meal in this pub. There's like two meals for 12 quid or 11 quid. I was like, well, I'll get that because it's not only 12 quid just for one meal where I live anyway. So I thought I'd be greedy and have two. But, you know, it caused an avalanche of things to happen. And if I eat too much food, I get more hungrier, which is a bit dodgy. Anyway. Come back on Monday, I weighed myself on Tuesday morning. I got up to two hundred and eighty three pounds. I couldn't believe it. I put ten pounds on over the weekend. Absolutely just shocking. Really is shocking. Um but I also had a pollen fever. <coughs> it turns out it's not pollen fever. Or hair fever. Or the flu. I, it turns out I've got COVID. And um I did try to fast today, to, but I was getting a little bit of um, dull achy pain in my chest. And um, I thought I'd have something to eat, so I had four burgers. Probably overdid it on the calories, to be honest with you. I couldn't believe how much fat came out of those burgers. I had some asparagus as well. And hopefully that's about it. I have actually sniffed this today. And I haven't actually been um, craving any sugar. Whether it is this. Or whether it's the COVID, it, it's a bit mad because since I started doing a one month testing on this, um, everything has buggered up, really. So this month might be a write off. But I'm going to see this week, I'm going to try and do some dry fasting tomorrow. Um, see what that does. We're going to know if dry fasting is good for healing. And if we can heal, a dry, if we can heal this COVID, or lessen the symptoms, I might feel a little bit better. But yeah, so tomorrow, dry fasting. Um, I'm going to get my coffee. I'm drinking decaf at the moment. Because um, I'm in bed anyway, but sleeping, it's like I've been getting awful dreams. Like I've got some decking to do outside, some pallet making. I had a dream where I was building all my stuff and woke up and thought, oh, that's a bit of a bitch. You know, I've still got all that crap work to do. I only did it in my dreams. It's well dodgy, that is. Um, I may have to give up vaping, yeah. Um, also, I do vape. And when I do the dry fast, I'm not sure if the vaping is going to break it because it's um, it's like a water, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's a liquid, just a heavier concentrated liquid, and I'm not sure if that's going to interfere with the dry fast. But I thought, I'll definitely do it. Um, I'm, I can't go out, I've got to self-isolate. I've got food coming in the morning, delivery. Um, I'm not doing anything else this week. And what I'll do is, I'll just stay in my room and just sleep oh, uh, and fast and dry fast and stuff like that. I thought I had to wait a week because I thought it would make me feel better from um, having this pain and stuff, but it hasn't. It hasn't made me feel better one bit. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is the m one. An update. I'm up £10. I haven't been using this properly. I've got COVID. And um, I've had some to eat. So, yeah, that's my little update. And hopefully... I can do some dry fasting and see if it um, boosts me into the ketogenic um, f 
crap busting madness. I'll see you later.